What if I told you that your basic biological needs have been distorted by modern society? Hey everybody, I'm Dove and I'm one half of Twin Flame Revolution and today I want to talk to you guys about something extremely important, near and dear to my consciousness and my understanding. It's come to me in a realization that we are fundamentally built in a biological sense to endure and live in a type of lifestyle that is tribe. And in that tribe, we experience support and we experience interconnectedness and that we crave that village and we crave that tribe on a level that is not going to change, a level that is biologically being asked of us. But we live in a modern society that has brought us to the deepest forms and feelings of isolation that I've ever seen before. You're not unwell in so many words as that we are alone in so many words. And that separateness and that feeling of aloneness has caused us a breakdown that is fundamental because it goes against our biological structure and desire and psychological hardwiring. And that we have always been built for that experience. And now we have never lived further away from our families or further away from our friends. We do not have, for the most part, in our Western culture, so some of you might be watching this from all over the world, there are places that still work in tribe society. And most of us, the bigger city we live in, the more isolated we are, the more alone that we feel. And what's happened is that these biological needs have become distorted by our desire to have them met in a modern day society. And so if what you want is communion with your tribe because it's three o'clock in the morning and you're not fucking okay, and really all you need is to be on the floor screaming and crying with 10 people that love you around you going, it's okay and you're going to get through this. But because we don't have that, we get on our phone and we scroll social media and we look at pictures and we try to connect because that's what we want. We want the connection. And we feel isolated and we become addicted to games uh, video games and to m things online that we can connect with one another and we feel more distorted and more isolated and feel more pain and more shame for being alone. And I was speaking to somebody today and they said, I just feel weird. And I'm like, you're not weird. You're lonely. You didn't have the opportunity to walk around your village today and say, hey, oh, I want to talk to you about this and I want to talk to you about that. And, I wanna... and not only that, the distortion happens in relationships because we now expect our partners to be everything, but they're not gonna fill the role of 90 people. They're not gonna fill the role of a village. They're not gonna fill the role of a tribe. They're just one person, albeit maybe your favorite and maybe the best and maybe they're filling 14 out of 90 roles. And then we throw our partners away we get frustrated. We think they're not good enough. And they're not doing enough because we're seeking from one person everything that we need or we're seeking from the internet everything that we need. And we have these fundamental biological needs. We have a fundamental biological need to connect to source or God or spirituality or something, Mother Earth, whatever feels good for you. But instead of doing that, we get disconnected from nature and we get disconnected from spirituality and we use drugs or alcohol, or gambling, or sex, or whatever it is that allows us to fill a giant hole inside of us that is actually the request of our biological needs hardwired into who we are. And no matter what we do, we are not going to stop needing those things biologically, which means we need to start to become conscious that we are moving away from some things that we actually need to incorporate. And I don't suggest that we are gonna go in one moment to a tribe model or that maybe it will ever happen again. But what I am suggesting is that we think about this. What I am suggesting is that we think about the fact 
that we're not meant to be so isolated. And I am suggesting the fact that you could be held and seen. And I am suggesting the fact that if you feel like, damn, I am not supposed to feel this alone. It is not just your mind. It is your entire history, ancestry, and biology that's telling you there is something fucking wrong here. And I'm bringing you this message and I'm going to ask you to share it with as many people as you can because what I'm asking for from you is I'm asking for us to think about this. This is your life in your hands and it is your world sitting in your hands and our future sitting in your hands and it's time for us to become aware of some of these fundamental important subjects that are so simple but if they change or we even talk about them or we even understand that we are not broken that we need to be seen and heard and witnessed cared for that we can actually start to create a very deep shift in our world, in ways that you can't imagine, in ways that you think are not even related to this. And they are. And so if you guys are new, I'm going to ask you guys, please to subscribe, like, and follow us on our social media. Please stay connected. Check out the rest of the videos where I'm talking about grief work um, and around this subject. Um, and let yourself think about it and share this message and contribute as I think more and more about how I want to bring us into a deeper community. And it's why Nicole and I have created our Twin Flame community um, membership. And it's why we, you know, do the work we do with you guys. And it's why we, you know, work with personal individuals. And it's why we work around your core traumas. And it's why we have our YouTube. And it's why we have our Facebook. It's why we have our Instagram. But I also understand that we need to connect face to face and we need to feel people and we need to allow ourselves to feel intimacy, right? So if you didn't watch my video on how grief, proper grief release is going to bring you intimacy, watch that because all of these things allow us to connect to our humanness so that we can connect to each other. And in that state of being able to connect to our vulnerability and our intimacy, we are actually able to change this world. So I hope this message has actually given you some food for thought. I love all of you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.